This is really a dream come true for me. I think it's pretty cool to know that I'm going to be powering hospitals, schools, for a project I worked on. We've sacrificed a lot being away from our families and friends. It's good to see what renewable energy will be utilized within my community. New York is leading the way, and I couldn't be more proud or happy. The need for energy in New York is dire, and we really feel it out here in Montauk. The population goes from about 4,000 year-round residents to about 40,000 in the summertime. When I heard that we were going to get our own wind farm 35 miles offshore, I got super excited because I realized that the future was now. The demand for electric now is more than ever, so to be able to help out your local community to bump up the power grid, it's a bit of an accomplishment. It's a really cool day today to see the cable being pulled, the lead up to it, all the trades having to work together just to accomplish the tasks that get us to this point. I grew up in Southampton on the beach. Ever since I was a little girl, I was always doing projects with my hands. Now I'm a local 361 iron worker. The monopile would go in and then we would install the working platform and the insides of the monopile. We've just finished installing the OSS and we're currently in the process of installing the final monopiles for the turbines. My role is making sure that within my scope, every electrical thing is installed correctly and functioning before we actually start energization. If you told me two years ago even that I would be here building offshore wind turbines, I would have been in shocked disbelief. I worked in retail and law for a long time and it just didn't feel fulfilling. And after I had my daughter, I want to leave this world in a better place for her. Today we're loading out the uh, first tower with blades, nacelle, and the tower sections. They're gonna build it out in the ocean, and then they're gonna spin for 500 hours before it gets handed over to me and the rest of our crew. Any and every trade within the community was involved. Linemen, electricians, laborers, operating engineers, every tradesman, local, had a part of it. One of the best accomplishments the only way that people would know that we were here is this round manhole cover right here. I'm very excited that South Fork Wind is finally up and running. With these turbines spinning behind me, it's quite a sight to see. And as a New Yorker, I'm very proud to be a part of this project and have it right here in our backyard.